here and today I have another tutorial. I know it's been so long since I posted, almost three weeks, but I'm really busy with school and stuff and so this is kind of a video just to get me back into the swing of things. Um, <clears throat> so obviously it is, if you look at the title, it is going to be a magic bullet effects and how you can use it to make your video look smexy. Alright, so the first thing you're really going to do is you're going to go into your effects and presets and obviously you need to have downloaded magic bullet effects. Obviously here is looks and I'm just going to drag it onto layers and we're going to click edit and this will bring up your little looks builder tab and with this you can do all kinds of fun stuff. You can go into looks and change all kinds of cool presets. That's a really nice one right there especially for this kind of like it looks like a, almost like a dreamy effect kind of thing um, but there's all kinds of stuff you can look through um, like film presets, I don't know, mishandled negatives, all kinds of cool stuff but like I said before we're gonna use this basic white diffusion as it does look pretty darn awesome especially with this clip and it really conveys what I'm trying to get across with this clip which isn't really much anyway because I just shot this five minutes ago on a whim but whatever it doesn't really matter uh, so obviously uh, you can go over here to post and you can change all kinds of other stuff here go over to tools you can change exposure all kinds of other stuff over here you can look at all the nice stuff you can do um, so we're just gonna go to exposure drag it into post I guess uh, I guess we'll put it in put it in matte and then once we do that we can go over here to exposure and change how bright or dark we want it so we can obviously stop this thing down I always stop this thing up rather so obviously this is gonna add noise but I wouldn't actually use this in a practical practical field but uh, field use or whatever but I don't know it's kinda cool if you just wanna tweak it just a little bit but obviously I just darkened it by 0 .40 stops and that actually looked a lot better than it did before so we're just gonna click OK and now that that's done uh, you can preview it in your little Adobe After Effects thing and if we want to edit it some more we can go back to edit and we can go over to tools do all kinds of cool stuff here star filter maybe don't really know what this does um, Oh, there you go. Oh, it, it filters out stars. Huh? That's why it's called Star Filter. Um, but yeah, if we just go back to edit, uh, we can check out all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. Um, I can do edge softness, all kinds of cool stuff. You just play around with all these things. They're really nice and easy to figure out. But um, there's so much you can do with Magic Bullet Effects. I'm just really showing you the basics here. Um, obviously, you can change like your saturation. I'll put that in subject. You can just change your saturation pretty darn easily within your um, actual image itself so there I'm changing the saturation it's not really working too well but you get the idea and so now when that's done obviously you just edit it I mean you just export it like you normally would you can just go to uh, composition add to render queue output to and then do whatever and just click save and just click render and you're all done that easy just play around with some of the effects of magic bullet it's just really really simple just wanted to show you the basics for today and uh, that's pretty much it for now uh, thanks a lot for watching this has been Tim and I'm out